This morning on today's Daily Dose, taking charge of your health. No one knows your body as well as you do, so there are some steps that you should take to make sure you're in control of your own medical well-being. Dr. Rashini Raj is a Today contributor and gastroenterologist at NYU Lango Medical Center here in New York. Dr. Raj, good morning. Good morning. Really Allie. important for us to take control, take charge when it comes to our medical uh, our health. Absolutely. I mean, these days doctors are busier than ever. You don't have as much time in the office, so you really need to be proactive about getting the best care. First thing that you say we need to be doing is making sure that we're booking an, an appointment, and it's gotten easier right. than as ever to do this. That's right. So for many offices, you don't really have to be on the phone on hold with the office anymore. There are, some offices have their own websites that you can book online. There's a great free service I love called ZocDoc.com, mm -hmm. where you can just punch in your zip code, your insurance, the type of doctor you're looking for, and they will, through their database, give you an appointment within your area, usually within 24 to 72 hours, which is really quick. And, and you say when you do, after you book that appointment, make yeah. sure you then go in armed with questions. What right. kinds of things should you be asking them, and, and what are some of the things that you should make sure that you tell your doctor? Well, first of all, when you're in the doctor's office, many of us start to get nervous. We mm -hmm. forget a lot of things. So you want to write down all the questions you personally have for the doctor, all the symptoms you've been experiencing. And then there's some general questions that, depending on the condition, you would want to ask them. There's some great online resources to help you figure out what those questions should be. I like mayoclinic.com, healthynation.com has some great information. You know, if it's, for example, if it's back surgery, what specifically should you be asking for in terms of recovery, what type of surgery, but you want to write it down because very often you're going to forget and the last thing the doctor right. wants is for you to call back two minutes later and say, I forgot to ask you this exactly. or that. So just write it down. And they're very busy people and sometimes you feel the pressure that they're under as exactly. well to move on. Right. So exactly, good to have that in hand. Also, you say if a doctor orders tests, you want to make sure to find out how and when exactly you're going to get those results. This is so important because really in the sort of olden times, doctors would say, if it's normal, I won't call you right. if anything. But you can't really trust that anymore because things can fall through the cracks. You want to either know that are you going to call the office in a week to get the result? Are they going to call you? Can you get it online? You do want to know how and when you're going to get those results. Okay. And medical records, you say, so important for you also to have a copy for yourself, right? Yeah. Why is that? Especially when we're talking about blood tests or any x-ray tests, MRIs, things like that, because if you're going to different types of doctors or if you're traveling, you want to have a copy of a record. It's not always easy to get your personal doctor to fax it to someone else. You want to have it right there on hand, make sure you're not getting duplicate orders of tests, show whatever doctor you're going to your whole medical history that you mm -hmm. have with you. Okay, and then also you recommend getting a second opinion. Now, some, sometimes I think a lot of us may feel like, well, this is going to be insulting to our first doctor, but yeah. it is your health, right? Absolutely, and you should always put your health in front of any sort of feelings that you might hurt of your right. doctor, but many doctors realize that we're not always perfect. We don't know the answer to every question, and if you feel like you're not getting anywhere with a particular doctor, I think it's perfectly, re perfectly reasonable to ask either them or one of your other doctors to recommend someone to get us an opinion. And finally, and probably this goes without saying, I think you yeah. probably should do it first, is that you should research your doctor's background. Yeah, and I'm not talking talking about the sort of reviews of other patients, because honestly, many times you'll have a disgruntled patient who kind of gives sure. the doctor an unfair review. But looking at where they went to medical school, are they board certified? What is their area of focus? If you're looking for a particular kind of doctor who treats a specific condition, look online and say, is this something they really focus on and do often? All right, Dr. Rashini Raj, always great information Thank from you. you. Thank you again. And still to come this morning,